Vinny Caravella. Alex Navarro. Check out my Norman Reedus. You have a very nice Norman Reedus. He's uh, he's very clean. Uh, looks very good. He looks a little da- dazed. Yeah, maybe he needs to use the restroom. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we have him use? Uh, we'll the, use the sitting toilet. Let's have him use the toilet. I could use some advertisements. All right, fantastic. Uh, this is uh, Death Stranding. This is Death Stranding. We are finally here. If you are watching this uh, on the day it is going up, we are finally here where this game is released. Yes. And people can play this on their own. Uh, if you're curious about it, we're going to go into some minor spoiler alert, but we're playing pretty early on. Yeah, this is this is pretty early in the game. Uh, there's still a lot going on uh, to be learned. But uh, if you're on Blackout, don't watch this yeah, clearly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you and I have both finished it by the time we're recording this, uh, yes. as, as of this recording. Where here, should on. we begin? Well, let's begin right here. The okay. most important thing. More these, these extremely these so, extremely well rendered Monster Energy drink beverages. Why would you buy ever buy a Monster Energy when you could buy a thermos that turns river water into Monster Energy? I don't know if I have that thermos yet. Oh, uh, I think you, I think you oh, get you're that right, right so from I think the give you a better one later on. Yeah. But yeah, uh, in the end, you're always it is it is what Porter scrape. Uh, <laughs> so you are in this video game. Yes, this is a video game. Uh, believe it or not, you are Norman Reedus. You are Sam Bridges. Sam Porter Bridges. You got it. You got it. You work for Bridges. You work for Bridges. Was an organization that is trying to reconnect uh, an America that has been apocalypse. Part delivery company. Part part uh, UPS slash Amazon slash slash FedEx. Part government. Yes. Uh, so they are. Uh, boy, where do we start? Okay, it is America in and. Uh, Something bad has happened. Yeah, so uh, there is this thing called chiral technology. Chiral is it, it, chirilium is the game's MacGuffin. It is the super magic uh, element that allows everything in America to be super versions of itself, including the internet, which is the chiral network. Well, how did we discover this chirilium? Uh, I th- do they explain exactly yeah, it, how it came it to be? It happened during the, the Death Stranding, which, yes, which is the breakdown between our uh, physical world and the realm of the dead, basically. Yes. Uh, it has become porous. Uh, people are not passing on like they should. They are being trapped on things called the beach. Yes. Everyone has their own personal beach, which is like a purgatory. It's sort of like a a, a, a psychic bridge between your living world and the de- shadow yes. dead world. You are neither dead nor alive on the beach. And uh, also, it is important to know for some of the mechanics in this game that time stops on the beach. Time yes. does not pass, which is how they explain their super internet which is important because it is called the chiral network. It is the super internet, and it is what Sam is trying to do across America, bring people onto the super network yes. to bring them America back together. And that's what we're going to do right now. We are going to take on a job. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a long trek, but that's good because we're going to see a lot of different things as we go along here. Uh, my job as of this section of the game, which is in Chapter 2, I have to connect... Uh, Port Knot City, which is the furthest city from where I am right now in this section of the map. Yeah. There is a big bridge section that crosses over to a much larger <laughs> map after this. Yes. So th- we're just going to run across this thing, and as we go, I will explain things as best I can. Uh, so, so you go to these hubs, you take on orders. The first thing you do That's is you, you, you bring them onto the network using your magic USB stick, which is attached to your neck. This is Dead Man. He's one of your helpful uh, people. Uh, uh, faced by Guillermo del Toro, but not voiced. Yes. So the, uh, the the chiral network is a super network that can instantaneously transmit uh, almost unlimited data. Oh, I've got my hematic grenades this now. Is this is good. Attempt at developing an anti-BT weapon. This is that's, Mama. That's She's Mama. also a helper. Fast with what we had, so they're basically modified hand grenades. Yeah, but least, they're special. That's how they're, they're special hand function. grenades. They've never actually been tested in the field. Who knows? He might be the first person to kill a BT. And I have some news. I'm definitely going to be the first person to kill a BT. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you, a lot of a lot of the weaponry in this game uh, is how do I explain this? Okay. So again, there's we're going to talk about stuff about this game uh, that you might not want to know. If you're if we're going to try not to be spoilery, but again, if you're on blackout, don't watch this. Yeah. Sam has a Sam is part of a group of people that have a special thing called dooms. Yes. Which make them kind of. Um, it's it's basically a special uh, affinity or like they they have a a, a a better connection to the undead, right? Like yes. the, the afterlife world. Dan uh Dan. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> uh Sam also in 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 addition to having dooms, which a couple of other people have, uh, you know, Hang on, I'm bringing sperm. 
uh, <laughs> to, to this place. Uh, also is, is unique in the Dooms in that he is a repatriate. Yes. Which means actually Sam cannot die. If he, if he is killed, he will uh, reappear back on his beach and he'll be able to find his body and re-enter the world of the living. Yes. That makes his blood and all his bodily fluids apparently very special. Yes. And he's very special. He's very special and they can weaponize his bodily fluids. Oh, I'm carrying too much stuff. Uh, this is inevitably what happens whenever Sam is a, a little overburdened. Do you have access to the garage? Uh, I do, and I believe the only vehicle I oh, have currently yeah. is this bike. So, yes, there are vehicles in the game. Uh, you don't get them right out of the gate for a while uh, in, in the early parts of the game. You don't really have them at all. But I would say at this point in the game, you're probably 10 to 15 percent in, right? Yeah, roughly. But the other thing about it is actually I should put, I should offload some of this ah. stuff onto the onto the bike is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, the bike doesn't carry. The trike doesn't carry super, too much. Yeah, but it's it's better than having it all on my back. So let me just do that. So a huge part of this game, and I mean a <laughs> huge part of this game, is literally dealing with encumbrance mechanics. It is about making I sure that stuff can uh, it, basically like Sam is balanced and is able to carry his shit around. But I never, I I hate encumbrance mechanics, uh -huh. and I, I never engage with it uh, with the. <laughs> vitriol that I hate encumbers. It's different. It's, it's a, different. And I but that's the thing. I'm not saying that it's bad. What I am saying is that it is uh it is a huge focus of the game. And I think it I would say it's almost like a logistics game. Yes, like it you, is. You need to figure out Sam, up for performing an experiment <laughs> with dramatic grenades. Might be worth taking a look. Uh the game is about figuring out how to Organize your trip to carry the most cargo yes. as safely and quickly as you can to a destination. And having people talk to you while you're trying to do that. Constantly. Once you get to Port Knot City, you'll be crossing the lake. Uh, can you slow down for a second? Mm -hmm. So this is actually one of my favorite favorite parts of the game. Uh, so my, one of my favorite parts of the game is you can see those footprints on the ground and you can see that kind of... See this uh, little path here that I'm on? Yeah, so if you hit the menu, oh my gosh, there's never gonna, it's like GTA. Mm -hmm. Having dooms gives you advantages most folks don't have. But as capable as you are. Uh, this is Die Hard Man, by the yes. way, talking to us. An organization filled with experts in a whole variety of fields. This is the doom stuff we were talking mm -hmm. about before. Ready and willing to help. The team is here for you, Sam. Yeah, we know you're here. We get All it. You have to do is ask. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not asking. Got it. So the um so you can see the footprints here. So you can the, see the path. And and so if you bring up the map, uh, it's all these lines. These blue lines here are, yeah. are paths that not only you've taken, other players have taken. So this is a big part of this game is the all everybody online kind of contributing in this world. And the one of the coolest things about this game is as more people take those same paths, it actually beats a path into the ground. Yes. And it uh, becomes easier to traverse. And I think it might even wear down rocks and stuff that are in your way if enough people walk over it, but I, I can't say that for sure. Yeah. Uh but So we're going to take this we're going to take uh this this motorcycle as far as we can go and then there's going to be a part where I just straight up cannot use it anymore because the uh the vehicles are not really useful in this section of the game that much. They'll, uh, they'll speed some things along, but uh, in general, we're just going to be probably be walking for a lot of this. Uh, and as uh, Alex can set waypoints, he's setting a path. Yes. I feel like I'm doing an E3 demo now. Yeah. As you can see, Alex is setting waypoints and stuff. But there's also, um, it's important to know that you are going to see a bunch of stuff that Alex didn't build necessarily. Yes, like this bridge right here, for instance. Uh, I did not build this. Who did? Let's see what their gamer tag is. Uh, uh, Gamera G RD. G Gamera RD, yes. So, is what it appears to uh, say. You can like that bridge, get send yes. some likes over, and there's a whole narrative behind the likes and all that stuff. Uh, there's going to be a lot of other structures, but you could build stuff here. Yes, and I probably will build something before we are done here. But, uh, yeah, so structure, like, when you start out the game, there really isn't anything. Like, you'll see a couple of, like, in-game built, like, ladders and other things that are used to reverse things like rivers, uh, to, to climb up steep inclines. Yeah. Uh, but also people will be building these things throughout the game. Uh, they have built themselves. And sometimes those things will surface in your game. And that is by far my favorite part of this game. Yeah. Is the, you know, asynchronous online element where people are just building stuff and also dumping resources into things like... Like, this escalates a lot over time. Eventually, in the other area, you, there's these things called auto pavers, which yeah. you can use to build... Uh, where am I going, by the uh, way? Uh, do you want to find your, your waypoint? Sorry, I know it is tough to kind of yeah. 
now they need to go up here. over here. Uh, yeah, so big, huge public works projects. Yes. That, you, that will take highways. A, you're building highways. Take a lot of resources. So, and so there's like metals and resins and ceramics and stuff that you'll just find in packages, and those things uh, you you just eventually dump into these different projects. And can ask other people to help out. And uh, I, I think you might have. Uh, I think I have to go around I, this and then go down. Uh, that it looks way. like somebody beat a path uh, to your left if you want to try cutting over, but it might not be for bikes. Yeah, that's the thing. I think it's not a bike path. I think that's an up there path. Okay. Uh, okay, so the other thing... Don't mind me as I just start crashing into everything, because that's what happens <laughs> when you don't have a road. I'll explain the, the time fall stuff while you find oh, your Oh, yeah, we're, we're in it right now, in fact. So, so time fall is the game's durability mechanic, uh, along with uh, some other narrative stuff. The rain uh, makes time accelerate faster on anything it hits, which means uh, the durability on your equipment uh, uh, expires and stuff will break down. Also, the BTs come out during the rain. In the, fact, they're about to. And the BTs are the ghosts. We're going to have a couple of BT moments here, I think. This is your ghost detector. Uh, don't confuse the BT with the BB. The BB is the baby on your chest. Yeah. The BTs are the dead that are... I wonder are, if I should try going back this way, actually, and just do the BT thing, because there's going to be another BT <laughs> section later. You going to try and go up the hill? You well... Can, I bet you can get this thing up the hill. I don't know if I can get up the hill, but I might be able to get up down this way. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Uh, and uh, to... There's a lot of... I would call the BT stuff the stealth portion, mostly. Yes. Uh, at in least the early er, er, in the early game... Eventually, you start getting tools and weapons. In fact, the, the, this is the section of the game where they first give you the hematic grenades. Yeah. Those things just straight up wreck BTs. Like, yeah. as long as you line up the shot right, you will destroy them in one shot. And so if you're caught by a BT, which maybe we'll see, maybe we won't, um, you kind of can, it, things can escalate into a bigger fight or uh, an escape mechanic or, or yeah. something like that. Uh, you can make it up there. I don't know if I can make it with the bike. Oh, yeah, you can do this. As soon as you get the clear path, just boost it. There's like big rocks. Oh, you got this. I see. I see a way. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think this might. Oh yeah. Over to the left there. I think. Oh. Yeah. Try that left. Yeah. Now right. This is not boost. what this bike is really meant to do. Yes. Yep. Boost. Yep. No damage. <laughs> jump. Jump it X. Uh huh. Perfect. Woo! Perfect run. Uh, so the vehicles do have a jump, which, they is, do. which is weird. Uh, you can also see in the lower left, your his battery, Alex's battery, yeah. is running down. When you boost or use the bike, it runs down. Uh, uh, when you are in a sunny area, uh, it will start to recharge as long as you are not running it. Right, and uh, there will be charging stations. You can kind of map your path if yeah. other players have put them down uh, or you built one. So you kind of get this. I'm really enjoying having you do the talking right now, by the way, because it is much easier than trying to explain this game. There's and so much stuff going on. There are so many systems. Uh, again, blood and stamina are two things that All you right. have to manage. All you right, you yeah. want to try and uh, show this a little bit? Let me see how much further I can get before it, it says, like, hey, the BTs are here. Okay. Because I think we're close to the BTs. Yeah, here we are. So, uh... All right, I'm just going to have to take everything off my bike then and start walking. Yeah, you're not gonna, you can drive slowly. Not that slowly. Uh, so they want me to use the grenades here. Yeah, thing. so that's a scanner that kind of just shows you where uh, stuff is, but it doesn't show you where BTs are. The only thing that'll show you where BTs are is if you stop moving and- uh, This thing will start alarming, the little yeah. arm thing. Those are bleep, 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 bleep. So it's kind of pointing towards where the closest BT is. And now it's see, there it is, right there. Uh, so if you make a lot of noise, uh, they will come chasing after you. Okay, so there they are. I'm going to get off my bike. Okay. And I'm going to crawl. But don't forget you have stuff on your bike if you... I know. I'm okay. not leaving it yet. I'm just going to see if I can start killing these things, which I think I can. So here they are. Normally, so again, if you don't have these weapons, what you inevitably have to do is try and get away from them. Uh, and just try and avoid like running into them. But when you have these grenades, you can just blow their asses up. Uh, you can also click if you click on I think the right stick, it flips shoulders, so you can see your scanner. Uh, sometimes it's hard to. Eh, keep, I see what I'm up against. Okay. I see what I'm doing here. Damn it! I think I missed that one. Nope. I got did, him. Did you get caught in the blast? I think he did. So that one's gone. Now he's got to get this guy. 
Now, you might have got him already. No, he's not dead. He's definitely... He's in pain. Doesn't like what's happening. No, none of them do. Uh, and when you, when you get rid of a BT, they turn into or drop or chyrillium crystals crystals will uh, surface from the ground let's get this shit off it that's over so here. you're gonna hike it you're yeah gonna i'm gonna it. hike it from here uh so when you're in this menu you uh you do have a load limit it's at the bottom yes and you can auto organize uh in a more efficient way if you need to uh and you can drop stuff on the ground you can put some stuff on your suit uh all right here we go so the, the <laughs> The makeup of the stuff on your back does affect how it controls. Yes. Uh, and there's a lot of, like, hold left trigger or hold right trigger to catch your balance or hold yeah. left and right trigger at the same time to keep your balance. All right. So I'm just I'm, I'm plotting myself a new path here. Okay. I took the bike almost everywhere. Yeah. I, I, I would prefer to be using the bike. Mm. Oh, wait. That's not the right one. Here's where I want to be going it is eventually down here. Uh, yeah, normally I would prefer to be taking cars, but, like, there's there's a lot of time falling rocks here, and it's just hard to deal with the BTs sometimes when you're doing uh, all you that. Might, you might be, uh... I think those are the ones I killed. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple I haven't. Let's see, I think I can get this guy. Again, you have your thing on your back, which kind of freaks out as it, as it goes, and you can switch camera shoulders to, to see it, um... Which comes in handy, too, when you're, when you're trying to move fast. There are a lot of BTs up here, man. Yeah. This is, like, the most I've seen in one spot in a mm -hmm. while. I kind of picked a bad area to go to. But, you know, useful for... I mean, this this is a part of the game. Yeah. This is not my favorite part of the game. But it is a significant portion of it. You will be doing this. If you play Death Stranding. <laughs> So yeah, clicked in the stick. There you can see where the... Yeah. Okay, there's the one that is closest to me. Uh, you do get other things later to deal with them a little faster and a little more efficiently, but yeah, this is kind of it for a while. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of what you have to do in the, the early, early game. So uh, a big part of the story in this game is if anyone dies a human dies let's say uh and normally if a bt they kind of talk about them as antimatter and a human as matter if they come in contact with each other it causes something called a void out yes which is basically like a nuke going off so it's very bad yeah it's not good you Do don't want it doesn't happen with you but would happen with anybody else because i think you have the special uh repatriate stuff and you're uh, this is BT yeah, fucking. This, is, this a, is a convention. BT wild. Do you want to show what happens if you get caught by a BT and just take on that thing? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to run into these things again at some point, so I kind of want to just see if I can get through okay. here. Okay. Why don't you cut left? It looks like there's a BT free area. Sure, oh, you know why? Because you're by the incinerator. Oh. Uh, yeah. They're, they're always packed in over here. So the incinerator is where you have to bring bodies if somebody dies because they need to be burned so they don't come in contact with BTs and they are really uh, there. They are, boy, dense. they're just everywhere here. So I think anywhere to, I can go. I think you need to get out of away from this incinerator. The problem is I have to go past it. Why don't you go up the mountain? Well, I have to get past them. Yeah. God, there's just so many. All right. If I can just clear enough of a path, I think I'll be okay. See, we're making progress. We're getting through. So this is the stealth portion of the game. There is other yeah. combat. You are facing off against enemies that are not just the BTs. And honestly, when I was on the trek, I just zoomed through most of these. Yeah. Uh, and as long as you don't hit a BT, you can kind of get... You kind of just move past it. Which is difficult, I will say. Uh, I've definitely hit hit the BTs, but again, later on also, not to excuse it, like I said, this is my least favorite part. Uh, oh, he's right above you. Shit. Where is it? It's right there, right? Oh, there's one right here. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, you become pretty powerful. Oh, there's another one right here. 
All right. Uh, how many more of these do I have? I have, I have enough. It's right uh, uh, upper right here. Just go away. Just go back to uh, where I think you might be. Uh... I'm pretty surrounded, but I think I can, I can deal with these guys. Hopefully, I still have some blood left. They do belong on the other side. Uh, it looks like there's a path if you want to just get out of this area to your right. Up this that, way? Yeah, up that mountain. Well. Sorry if this has been answered, but can you, like, oh, hand Hi, hi hello. We did not expect you to be on this kickback. Yes. Yeah, I did neither. Sorry. Uh, if you use too much blood, can you, like, faint? Yes, yes. You, will, you will run out of blood. If you don't pee, does anything happen? Will you pee yourself? So no, I, I don't think anything happens. Okay. Anymore. Just curious. Thank you. I'm trying to run my way out of here. Yeah, I think if I go up here, I'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, you also have mechanics and uh, um, bars for your shoes. There's mechanics for everything, man. There's j degradation on everything. You also have a mechanic for uh, the BB. Yes, uh, the BB, if it gets too stressed out, you have to soothe it. And if you don't soothe it in time, it will uh, also have a thing where it's like, it just won't work anymore until you get to another private room. Uh, that is the, I think I forget what it's called, the Odorek, uh, named after like everything in this game, named after, oh, oh you no. lost, okay. So yeah, also uh, there is there is a height limit for some areas. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just picking everything back up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Picking everything you back up. You can also up. hold it in your hand, you, you forgot one. Uh... Oh, okay. Not, just, okay. You know what? I'm just going to let some <laughs> of this go. <laughs> Mr. Magooing your way through I'm going to let some of this go. You can duck also if you click oh, in the Oh, yeah. Stick. I forgot about that. <laughs> and grab it with your hands and move it out. <laughs> Vinny. You know, you play how you play. I you truly Alex. hate you right now. <laughs> you play how <laughs> you want to play. It's your, it's your porting, your bridge. I'm man. leaving behind everything else. <laughs> okay, That's wait, enough. It's not, you have the stuff you need for the Two mission? Two of those things were used. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, none of my actual cargo got lost. Great. Fantastic. Uh, all right. Well, since I'm going this way, let me mm -hmm. see what I have uh, gear-wise. I have... Uh, I have... Yeah, a rope. Yeah, let's use this. And let's climb down. And so here's a rope. I can grab this, uh -huh. and I can just drop my ass down here. Yeah. Get your ass to Mars. So rhythmically, as far as like what you do in this game, a long chunk of this game is just plotting out and engaging in these journeys from place to yep. place, delivering stuff. And especially once you start getting more tools to work with and people start building more stuff around the world, that isn't like... That's not bad. That's the part of the game I don't mind as much. And so, in fact, I think that, you know, it's the part everyone's going to call boring because it is. Like, at times, it can be. Or, or it's the part that is, um, unless you, oh, uh, yeah, you're going to get a, you might get zapped. And I think you're pretty clear. So it's the part that I think is, like, unless you have that, I think you and I do, that weird delivery completion yes. satisfaction gene, whatever that is, like a uh, trucking simulator or, uh, you know, whatever it is. Because I found some of that satisfying. Yes. Uh, and, but but it, it is the stretch. And the game does interesting things in terms of all the structures that other players are building are hidden from you until you get that your destination on the Chiral network. Yes. So it kind of forces you to carve your own path there without help. And then you once you're on the Chiral network, you can see everything. Yes. And that's a good mechanic. That stuff is cool. The uh, problem I have with this game, and it, there's there's a few of them, uh, for one thing, the story as it is told is bad. This is not a good story. This is a, in, it's not as much incoherent so much as it is just, how do I explain this? The I, story of Sam and his mission to connect America and all these weirdo personalities that are around him, it's just not interesting at all. I, uh, I think that's fair. Yeah. I, I think there, I think it, for me, it seemed my biggest disappointment was it seemed to have the potential to get interesting. Yes. And then did not. And it fumbles it badly once it really starts getting into the meat of, like, why any of this is going on. And, and also, you don't hit any real story, I would say, 
from my personal playthrough, probably until about 60% in. Yeah, 50 to 60% in, I would say. In, in which... The and this is not a spoiler again. This is the game yes. for about that fifty to sixty percent in is like the story is get across America and get the network up until about sixty percent in where some stuff starts happening. Yes, hang on, I'm giving this uh, this climber up some likes. <laughs> so that is the the I, I call it the currency, but you don't really buy anything no. in this game. Uh, uh, you use materials. Yeah, materials. There's 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 definitely crafting material stuff, but there is no like pay for upgrade type stuff. It's no. just it's just about, you know, uh, Do you just, have the resources? Do you yeah. have the resources to do it? Yes. Um and and the delivering stuff and the this game would be I would I would give this game far less of a pass if it didn't have any of the social stuff. Yes. I, re I really do think that stuff is neat. Uh, when you use the scanner as well, this is probably a good place to use it uh, if you can. I don't know if you can while you're in the uh, It shows you the terrain and will have, like, I think it's blue for easily passable, yellow for caution, and red for... for you need help. You need help. <laughs> help. Uh, also red for if you go in this water, you will be swept away. Yeah. Uh, so Riding yeah, this is down. difficult terrain with the X's here. If you were to try and do this on foot, you have a high probability of falling over. Yes. Uh, which can decrease your stamina, cause BB to go wild. Uh, All right, so I have to release the rope here. I'm and if you hold left trigger and right trigger, you can probably that's just what I'm doing right scoot, now. Scoot your way down. So, I, so well, especially once you start getting into like the yellow zone of uh, of weight on you, <laughs> you pretty much have to keep Sam. His, his, like you have to hold down right trigger so, and, or, and left trigger all the time. Um, can you can you stop moving for a sec? Uh, no. Nope. No, <laughs> you're in it now. I absolutely oh, cannot. Oh, you cannot. This rock will help you. <laughs> the good news is that there aren't a lot of rocks for me to crash into in this little path oh, here. Oh, I love this. You are just scooting. Okay, now thing. I'm good. Uh, so if you spin the camera around, you could see when uh, if you let go of left trigger and right trigger. I mean, he basically just. You could do this one at a time. He grabs his uh, backpack. Yes. And that is him balancing himself. I just realized my stuff is not well balanced at the moment, and I'm also I'm going to ditch these things that I'm not that are that are used. You can recycle materials at yeah. different stations uh, once you've used something, but uh, I I right now I'm just trying to avoid too much weight, so I'm just going to. You know, as a testament offload. to how this, to the world, which I think the world is fine mm -hmm. and, and pretty involved. I tried not to litter. Uh, I tried not to as well. Uh, uh, but also, other players can find your stuff. Oh boy, here we go again. It's just fucking Timefall City out here. Uh, wh where do you have to go? Do you have to go over that bridge? Uh, I have a long way to go, man. So I'm... Uh, so not over the bridge, just kind of hugging the yeah. hugging line there. But you know, I, I picked this for a reason, and the reason being that like this is, I think, is the probably the most emblematic if, section of like what you do, especially in the first half of the if, game. If I may make a recommendation, I uh -huh. would say maybe just try and hit distribution center, okay, and then pick up another trike, and see how far you can. The get problem on that. is with the trike. I once I get to here, I'm not going to be able to use it anymore. Uh, I mean, it looks like there's a little bit of a path. There is, but then it it's it's all uphill and there's all rocks. I love it. I remember this. I love it. Uh, so you can find other people's deliveries. There's, there's packages all over the damn place. Uh, and you can choose to deliver those or not deliver those. It, yeah. it, it is up to These you. These are all optional. Uh, you'll also find them at, like, post boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is not a huge number of these, thankfully. So I should be able to get through this pretty quick. As long as I'm quiet and stealthy. So time fall again is the you know, durability rain, and it also uh, another one. Oh, there's a baby one here. It also Did uh, I mentioned there were ghost babies there too. There are ghost babies. Will make your packages uh, decay. Come on, how do I hit this thing? Let me hit know. this thing. This is getting a little closer, probably. You don't want to get too close to those, though. Or is it? You're, you're, you're going off like you, you could probably sneak sneak around it through that little uh, left uh, left side. You got one right to your right, I think. Also. Oh no, not that close. There it is. I'll get it now just to be safe. That one die. I can't tell if I killed it or not. 
So like I usually didn't stop moving or worry about it until the thing was red. It goes uh was a blue, yellow, red. Yeah, yeah I just like to be cautious. Alright, be your own Sam. Now bring your Sam to the table. Believe me, I would love nothing more than just run through this, but it's yeah, not a good I think almost to a detriment, the thing I learned most of the encounters are not that consequential. Like No, the, it's the just it, it takes them the take longer, you know? <laughs> so if you get caught, yeah, for sure. Sometimes I don't know, sometimes there are areas where because if you if you survive the BT encounter, you um, the rain goes away, right? And you don't have to deal with the BTs in that area for that. All right, I think I might have gotten through the the patch here. But again, make no mistake, this is the early game. Oh yes, a hundred percent. This is what you do. This is what you are dealing with. You are also dealing with the mules, who are the human antagonists of the world. Yeah, uh, they are ex-delivery people who uh, very. I'm, I'm not making this up. Their whole storyline is that they are were so addicted to the likes they received from delivering packages that they went crazy and started stealing other people's packages. It's even better. It's even. It's even more involved. Yes, there's because, way more lore were, behind it. Because we figured out how to do drone deliveries, and then people uh, realized they got you know upset because they were put out of jobs and they didn't have that satisfaction of delivering things. So they made a basically special works program for people to, we don't need you to deliver stuff, but like, hey, we'll, you know, we'll just deliver stuff. Yes. We'll, we don't need this, but to keep people happy, we'll deliver it. So in the apocalypse, uh, it is the people who got addicted to delivering. Yes. So as you can see, I'm losing, I'm having some, <laughs> some bad cargo container situations here. Once I get into this place... I think I can use some container repair spray to try and fix them. That is your all clear signal. And part of the reason why I'm moving so slowly here is because it's been raining. And so I'm in the mud and you move slower when you're in the mud. Even though even when I hit the run button, you can't really go. Well, if you if you let go if you let go of your backpack, you might be yes, able to Yes, but do then it, but I might lose my balance. Yeah, then you have to like manage the um left Like and that's right. how much like I'm literally clicking in the stick right now. That's yeah. how much faster I'm going. Uh See, now that I'm a little bit out of the rain, I'm moving faster. And I think once you're on paths, you run a little faster, hey, too. Hey, look, it's my tower. Hey, you made this. I did. So towers are basically uh, like giant periscopes. Yes. They, and they tag stuff kind of like uh, a Ubisoft game. Mm -hmm. uh, all of these, everybody lives underground, basically, because of timefall and ghosts. Yes. Um, so all of these distribution centers kind of look the same. All of the uh, people who are living off the grid... The, uh, I'm gonna run in here real quick. Sure. Yeah, you should. You should check and see if there's a like a like a trike. Just to see how far you can get it. Um, they live in similar structures. Yes, or smaller ones. Sometimes there are like yeah. two structures. Yeah, there's the big ones and there's the little ones. Uh, big ones have garages and a private room. The smaller ones. Do. Like I might run into the. Uh, I might run into the private room here Get real quick just to recharge back. my stuff and recharge my BB, who appears to be a little uh, <laughs> upset. A little upset. Uh, if you are playing this and watching this, uh, and you have not figured this out yet, or or at this point in the game, you there are so many little vignette cutscenes throughout, like this. Yes. You can skip all of these. Yeah. Uh, you can hit start and hit skip. Sometimes you have to do that four times in a row because it'll just skip you to the next one. Yes. Uh, it makes the game go a lot faster once because there are little animations for everything. Yes. I'm not skipping now just because I think people should yeah, see you all should this see stuff. This stuff. But did you end up skipping towards the end? Oh, all the time. <laughs> yeah. And but you have to skip multiple times, yes. I should say. You have to skip like yes, you'll there's be a... three different animations in between each thing and yes. they have, each have to be individually skipped. Uh, I, r I wish they had mapped that through something almost a little yeah. easier of like hold triangle. Uh, that is your handcuffs are your, your communications. Your cufflinks. It is literally your. Uh, it is your, your handcuffs. Yes, it, it is, is your cufflinks. It is your, you know, cell phone. Yeah, totally. All right, now that I've recharged, I'm just head right out of here. This game is not subtle. No. Uh, part of the re one of the things I was talking about with the story, why why it doesn't work for me. One, I'm surprised how bored I am by a lot of the characters. There there are a couple of interesting ones throughout that that cr crop up throughout the game. We're about to see one of them here in a second, uh, which is the Mads Mikkelsen character. 
Uh, you get these little vignettes with him every time you plug your BB in. <laughs> yes. I'll leave it to you to figure out why that might be. Uh, well, they say uh, the, the memories can transfer yes. uh, back and forth. <laughs> this is the perfect one for that to load up on. Because uh, you're plugging yourself into yes. the BB. Yes. Your umbilical cord. Yes. But the characters just yeah, haven't done a whole lot for me, and the storytelling is just leaden. It is just leaden, and it is Dave's mommy's birthday. some of the most weird, off-the-wall shit in this game. They just completely hand-wave any sort of explanation for. And then when it comes to super extremely, desperately obvious stuff like, hey, these bridges are a metaphor, uh, it won't stop that. saying that to you out loud. Like, uh, they cannot stop explaining the most obvious shit in this game. Yes, I 100% agree. Everything that you find out later on that is like the magician reveal, you have known yes. for hours, uh, either through the... Um, uh, if you open up your cufflink, actually, this is a good point to show this, uh, the... Um, emails. Yes. So either through all of the emails, so this you get that I don't know hundreds. Yeah. Of these throughout the course of the game, and it explains so much. So much. Uh, that and then if you go into the um, there's uh data, which is like here's all these interviews with all these different people that just also explain explains the, everything. But then also if you look at this tips <laughs> menu. This uh, is the beginning of the game. This is nowhere near the number of tips oh they will add for the game <laughs> to explain every single system and every single... And look, I, again, I appreciate a game going out of its way to explain everything. But it's impossible but to find anything. It's a, but in the stuff it goes out of its way to explain, especially in the story, is just so obvious, and it's just not... It's like there's zero trust in the audience to understand the most basic shit about the game, Right. and that really bums me out. So I think this core is fine, if not even enjoyable, yeah. of... I have a delivery. What's my what is my loadout? What logistics? What am I going to do yeah. here? What do I want to bring? Uh, oh, I'm going over the mountains. Let me bring you know uh, ropes and ladders. Yeah. Uh, how much stuff do I want to carry on my back? That stuff's interesting. Yeah. To a point. To a point. Uh, let's see. I'm going to ditch D this because it's done. Auto arrange my cargo. I'm going to offload this stuff real quick. Uh. And then I'm going to use my container repair, repair spray because you have to use that sometimes to fix up. Uh, it doesn't repair the actual cargo, but it does right. fix up the uh, the containers, Container. which is important because you need to, the the cargo to not be uh, broken. Right. If the container runs out of durability, then the cargo starts to. Yes. Uh, you can spray it backwards. Yeah, I'm just, you know. Oh, I like this, though. There, I have two containers. There might be a more efficient way to do this. <laughs> I'm not doing this the most efficient okay. way. If I'm you, telling you right now, I am not. If you just have it on your back, you point it towards you and just spray it on yourself. Just make um, sure there isn't more of this that needs it. Uh, man, these things are worn the heck, huh? I mean, they, they I were, went through a lot of time fall. Uh, okay, I think that's all I need to do. And then you... Oh, I can't urinate here. You're going to pee on them. Okay, now we reorganize cargo. It is a lot of this. It is a lot of going into this mm -hmm. menu. Uh, apparently, this is done too, so we'll just go ahead and offload that. And, and again, then, like you said, you could recycle it. Uh, but I'm not right now because I don't. You are care. not going for the perfect playthrough. No, I'm just trying to get out of here. Uh, you should. You should check and see if there's a bike. Yeah, I'll check the garage. So uh, if there isn't, I'm just running. Vehicles are shared as well. There's nothing in the garage. Can you make one? Uh, I don't know I don't if know I'm if at the fabrication yet. stage yet. It's okay. We're yeah. just gonna go on foot. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that yet. No, okay. Uh, uh, you do get things other than trikes. You eventually get, like, giant trucks you can drive to. Um, you, you can steal the mule one if you... Uh, and I recommend that early on. Yes. That thing is pretty It's a good badass. starting point, but you eventually get a better truck that is, like, bridges approved. <laughs> right. That you can save. Yes. You can repair if you park it in the garage. Yes. Timefall... It's the, a pain in the ass. The rules of this world are sometimes weird and sometimes don't make sense. Timefall seems to affect everything except for stuff that is made of timefall resistant stuff. Yeah. Which which like your your uh your your North Face parka is apparently made of that. So And like you'll do deliveries that are timefall resistant wood. Also some of the things so getting people on the chiral network basically gets their equivalent of fabricators online, which are 3D printers. Yes. So once they have that they can kind of make anything. Uh but sometimes it feels like you're hand delivering stuff that should just be fabricated. Sam, though they hard. try to make rules. That's Hartman. 
uh, the face of the famed director Nicholas Winding Refn, but again, also a different voice actor. Uh, there's a number of those cases where, like, uh, the actor and the the voice actor don't necessarily line up. It's it's mostly those two, but also Lindsay Wagner, uh, who plays the president of the United States, who you meet at the very beginning. Uh, her face is also used for uh, Amelie, who is uh, your sister and is the pr the person you are essentially going to the other end of the country to try and meet up with. Mm. Uh, it is a younger Lindsay Wagner, but the actress is different. Lindsay Wagner herself does the voice of the president, though. And in all fairness to the game, the sinking is good. It doesn't yeah. look like they're like no, they're, they're not, nothing looks like wildly out of place uh, in that regard. And also, I really like Hartman's voice actor. Yeah, they, they do, do a good job. One thing I will give this game is that uh, it looks great. It is a cool-looking world. Uh, the technology yeah. and, and, and industrial design of it is really cool, and the face, like acting and animation, is really strong. Say for a couple of little spots where it extremely is not. And the industrial design, I really yeah, like. Yeah, it's really good. The like uh, uh, all the future tech looks cool and animates well yes there is not a lot of variety in the landscape no uh, it is it is this it is not there are certain sections that look a little bit different there's definitely like some deserty areas or snowy areas and there's some snowy mountains and stuff but it is all very much like hey check it out here's the fucking fjords uh, of america once in a blue moon you will see slightly bombed out looking places where a void out happens yes uh but yeah it is it is not dense with stuff the yeah. only thing it's dense with usually are rocks, and I've never seen. It, this has like a very like Irish countryside look to it. Yes, and I don't know what happened in the world, but where all these rocks came from. But it doesn't remind me of the United States. Not at all. All right, so I think as long as we just go up through these mountains here. Yeah, you gonna that's the path you're taking. I think so. Yeah, because I think right, this now, is not an area I think I can go to. So pretty soon you will be off the chiral network if you're not already. Yeah, and this is this is why you will not see any of the other player stuff. Yeah, because you now have to forge your own path. Uh, Which, as you can see, my shoe rating is going down. <laughs> I have two spare po pairs of boots, so I will be okay on that front. So the the games. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, I thought you were going to get the, the BTs again. So the game I will get them eventually here. The game's progression mechanic is essentially eliminating the tedium and bullshit over the course yes, of the game. Yes, you get lots of different gear options that uh, they crop up. Like, you get, like, an exoskeleton you put on your legs that either allows you to yeah. carry more or walk, walk faster. And a very easy one, you get better boots that, that, yes. that the stamina doesn't run out as quickly. Yeah. And it's, like, stuff like that that it's, like, in the mid to later game... I found the most enjoyment. Yes. By the end of the game, I was kind of throwing my controller uh, at the screen, but the beginning and the is 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 uh, it makes this game hard yeah, to recommend because the beginning of the game is tough to kind of make it. It's a push, slog, and even through. this section of the game can be kind of a slog depending on where you're going and what, what you're doing. Yeah, the next area is probably where I had the most enjoyment. Yes. Uh, most extended enjoyment, and there are moments in the game like. You'll get the, doing this, and uh, uh, the ambient noise will drop out, and you'll get a soundtrack, and it'll kind of get a little more picturesque and zoom out a bit. And sometimes those work, and sometimes you're like, "This is oh, that's a rock there. This is beautiful." But, or sometimes you'll be doing that, and suddenly BTs will show up and ruin the entire moment, yeah. or you'll trip and fall. Oh, BTs ruin a lot of things throughout this game. Uh, it's it's a really weird thing. You want to change your shoes out? You're going all the way. Uh, I can change them out. See, it's right here. It's on my boot clip. Uh, you can also do this from a radio menu. There's a lot of weird stuff that's not explained yeah. super well. Uh, so it is, I think if it's hold up, you can put your sunglasses on and uh, uh, change your boots and stuff up on the uh, okay, here we go. D pad. We're entering the BT zone. Zone de BT. So did you bring any, do you have any ladders and stuff on you? Uh, I do have at least one ladder. I definitely have one climbing thing and as well. And a PCC or whatever. Yeah, I have a PCC. That's what you use to build structures. Um, These are chirillium crystals that you find in the world. These like things that he's coming up with. Here we go. Like hand. As you can see, time is doing timey-wimey shit. <laughs> right, things are living and dying very quickly. Uh, uh, Sam's has an auto hood, which goes up in the rain. Mm -hmm. Not collecting these Kyrillium crystals. Uh, if it was anything, if I was just playing at home, I would be going for those crystals yeah. constantly. You do, it, they were one of the tougher things to manage until later in the game.
There are a lot of systems here. There are so many systems. And I'll give it this. The systems don't feel like... Like, all the systems pretty much work together. Yes. Like, this is not a game where, it, like, yes, there are way too many features and way too many systems, but at the same time, like, those systems don't feel like they are in conflict with each other. They are doing what they are pretty much designed to do, I feel like, and they are doing them reasonably well. Uh, oh, it's just one BT up there, man, huh? You're, you're a BT hunter, huh? Look, man, I don't want to deal with them. We can sneak past them. I think you might have killed more BTs in this section than I ever killed. The thing is, I don't like them, and I want them to die. <laughs> they made my life annoying, and I don't care for them, and therefore... This is your vengeance? This is my vengeance. All right, that one I seem to have gotten around. So let's just keep moving. Yeah, I know... Uh, you Norman, Norman yeah. Reedus is not very good, I will say. Uh, he's fine. <laughs> like, his character just isn't much of anything. Like, yeah. he is very much a video game protagonist in that he mostly grunts. <laughs> he does not really have, like, a lot of personality. And, you know, I, I, it's hard to say exactly how much of that is him versus direction, uh, and, direction writing. and writing. All right, got that one out of the way. Yeah, his... And for all the facial expression stuff, there are times when sometimes he looks like he has a smirk on his face. When I think that's just his natural <laughs> resting face. I, and nothing against him. It's just it just maybe some of the scenes. What do you have against Norman Reedus' face? I, nothing. You see a lot of Norman Reedus' face. Also, you see a lot of staring off into the middle distance crying. Yes. Uh, because when you use when you travel through beaches and stuff, it makes you cry. Yes. There is an allergic reaction people have to Kyrillium that makes them cry. This game is not subtle. No. Did you say that again no. It is the least subtle thing I have maybe. I mean, look, I don't necessarily come to Hideo Kojima for subtlety. No. He has occasionally interesting ideas that I think are delivered in ways that are not just the claw end of a hammer to your skull. Yes. This game does not really have those ideas. It kind of has one idea, and that idea is we need to connect and be connected to people, and that's it. It doesn't really have an idea in its head beyond that. The thing it is saying at the beginning of the game yeah. is a thing it is still staying at the end of the game, and that kind of bummed me out. I was yeah. really hoping that like maybe he had something a little more interesting to say about some of these ideas around technology and human connection and all that, other than just, hey, being isolated is bad. Being, people need to be near each other because connections. Yeah, I don't think it gets as weird as, as, as the potential for it to get weird. No, it is. He, it is a wildly weird universe that is saying, like, the most basic ass fucking, you know, like, pseudo-spiritual, like, you know, human connectivity shit that you've heard just about any basic level philosopher right. discuss at some point or another. Like, you might be in some of... I, I mean, all right, there is definitely a little bit stranger stuff that happens later on, but not... An, I didn't think in an interesting way. No, me either. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Oh, I can get two at once, I think. And the part where it is... Um, again, his exposition has always been... Uh, sit down, I'm going to tell you exactly what this is. Yeah. But in this game, I don't know, for some reason at the end, it was just driving me nuts. And it was stuff with particular characters, which was like... Take your foot off the gas. Let me do a little of the work here. Yeah. How are you doing on, on your path? I think okay, I'm... Okay, yeah, you're headed in the right I think direction. once I get past this section, I can start running. Like, once I get past this, I think I can start running again, and we uh, should be able to line up to the last bit. Also, another uh, system here. If you hold uh, L1, you get your compass, and it'll show you kind of... Uh, on the bottom there is your compass, and it'll also... You can uh, snap to your destinations if you are confused as to where to go. A lot of systems. A lot... Every part of the controller... Oh, yeah, he uses every part. That was too far. <laughs> uh, also, if you hit the... You shouldn't do it now, but I think you're done with those grenades. Yeah, uh, that one is done. If you touch the trackpad, uh, you holler out. Yes, which I don't want to do right now, but yes. And if there are, are possibly other players, which sometimes you can see little um, mounds... It rec are supposed to represent other players that are playing at the same time as you. Yes. They'll respond. They'll echo back, which again, I never really saw I, much of. But I mean, granted, it was during the review period, so there weren't as many people playing. I think if you rest, because you can sit down and rest. If you rest yes. where another player is resting, something's supposed to happen that gets you more stamina or something like that. You can also leave signs in the world. 
for other players. Some of the signs do have benefits like uh, recharging your stamina. Sounds like keep moving. As long as I keep running this way, I should. Uh oh, I think he's after you. Yeah, but if I keep running in this. No! Oh, you got it. You're in it. So you can shake him off. I'm shaking it off. And then just walk. I'm trying. Oh. I'll have to come back for my stuff. Okay. I, I was shaking. I was shaking. I was shaking. Okay. I'm still. So so this, is, this is when you're captured. I so. didn't want this to happen. <laughs> so you could just run. Or you could fight. Can I run? Yeah, totally. Just run to the end of the... the Every time I've tried to run from these, it just felt like it hasn't really worked. Oh, really? No, you can run. Just get to the mountains there, and you should be good. How do I even get over there? Um, just cross these rocks. Jump. A lot. I'm jumping. Yeah. So if you run and jump, get to, if you get to that land there, you just got to get out of the, the tar. I'm trying, man. Yeah. And it'll go away. So this is what happens when you get caught. Like, you essentially end up in a weird mini boss fight. And you could fight. Uh, so if you can climb up here, you should be... You I'm should trying. Be uh -oh. You're not getting the climb prompt anymore? No. Uh, I saw it for a sec. Oh. Uh, okay. Where am That's I? a bad spot. Try Damn to go it. down and around to the other side. Dude, I'm trying. This thing does not want to cooperate. There you go. There you go. Yeah, head up here. I think it still wants me to fight. No, you, if you keep going, I'm telling you, you'll get away. I don't know how I even get further. Yeah, you're not in a great spot here. Oh, boy. Wow, that was... That was dangerous. That was something. I'm telling you, I've never gotten away from one of these fights. Did it all the time. Okay. Constantly. Uh, I believe But you. head away. Head away from... The, I'm trying. The this is just not an easy thing to get away. Oh, maybe? No, no you're, you're like running parallel to it. I'm trying, man. <sighs> this is not an easy one to climb. Yeah, you're right. This is not an easy one. And also, all my stuff's down there. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to go back for it. Actually, I probably won't because this is all my actual cargo is on my back still. Uh-oh. I'm trying, man. Uh -huh. Some of these climbing mechanics. Yeah. The game is pretty polished for the most part, but some of this terrain stuff is not the okay, best. Okay, you should be good if you just go on the flat land here. You're your past land. Yeah. Uh, so you could fight. That yes. thing actually isn't that hard. No, it's not. It's uh, just annoying. And you could run back and get your cargo, or you can leave it. I'm going to leave it. Okay. You have the main stuff, right? I have all four pieces of the main cargo, okay. which is the important part. So some other player could find your stuff. And they would eventually be able to deliver it somewhere else for me. Or the mules who are addicted to the delivery um, mm -hmm. could get your stuff and, and take it away. Well, they can have it. Um, but yeah, you could, if you fought that thing, uh, you get a lot of Ky Kyrillium crystals and mm -hmm. the, the rain goes away. Yeah. Uh, so there is there is actually a benefit to fighting that thing is, is getting all those crystals. those crystals. Yeah, hang on. I need to drink some, uh, some delicious monster energy. <laughs> Man, there's so much here. Well, we're about to reach this city. There's so much here. In fact, I'm going to let somebody know I might be a little late to the, my next meeting. Okay. Um, but there's a lot going on here, and I feel like we haven't... I mean, this is, again, 20% into the game, maybe, 15, 20. That. And it changes up a little bit. Yeah. Hang on. We're about to have a real uh, pretty moment here. Okay. They're coming up here on, uh, on Port Knot City. Take me down to the poor not city where the grass is green and the BTs are shitty. So this go. happens a lot. Uh, you get to hear what's going on in, uh, on in Hideo Kojima's Spotify playlists. I was not a huge fan of that playlist. I think the music is fine. I think the licensed stuff is okay. I think that the core soundtrack, sparse as it is, is pretty good. There's a lot of low roar. Low Roar is has like a dozen songs on this soundtrack, and the rest I'll have like one, maybe two. But yeah, anytime there's but, kind of like a big moment where you're like wandering into a new place or something, like you tend to get one of these. It is very similar to this. Yes. Th this uh, this vibe. And this now th like this part here. Like this stuff here, are you just trekking? Mm hmm. Well, I was okay with it. I'm all about trekking. Trekking and trucking. And now, while this looks like kind of a big city that you're about to go into, eh, you're not really going to You're going to be in a very small section of it. 
I am right in the middle on this game. You know? Yeah, it's 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 a game that frustrated me deeply because there were so many things that like I could see the threads, ha, uh, of of a game I would really like, mm -hmm. and it just never gets to any of those places that I wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. It's too insecure about explaining itself and trying to make its metaphors the most obvious shit in the world. It's not invested enough in its characters for me to care about them. Yeah. With like a couple of exceptions. And most of them are like very much off to the side. And I kind of wish it had just committed wholly to the delivery part of the game, like the punishment of the of the hard deliveries. Like if you're gonna like make your game, you know, a human truck simulator, go go all the way with it. Make it like spin tires or something. Like make it like really punishing or at the very least make it more about the lo like the lone wandering journey of this character and less about the middling action game that just keeps cropping up it, over and over and again and especially in the back half yes they, especially they, they in the back half they kind of just give up and just uh and, and lean more into that stuff. The back half of this game is the worst back parts third, of maybe. yeah back the back third especially is the worst parts of the long traversal parts of the game mixed with a whole bunch of like interspersed cutscenes and on, action game like, stuff. Almost like critical path on rails. Uh, yeah. Parts. And I also think this game could be about a half as long. Uh, yes. On the main part, make the other stuff completely optional. Yeah. But um, you know it's. By the back half, I wasn't really even doing an, any optional quests because no. there are so many s mission ones. It just feels like it's not committed enough to the thing, which is a weird thing to say for a game that is very clearly all in on some truly wild shit. Like, it just doesn't feel like it's committed enough to the things that are most interesting about it. Yeah, like, I still think the world is neat. The yeah. world building is, is, is creative and neat. Uh... But what's going on within that world is, is not, not that, that exciting. Well, we made it to Port Knot City. Let's hook <laughs> it up to the network. Yeah, bring it, bring it online. And then maybe something will happen when we walk out of Port Knot City. I don't maybe, know. Maybe. Maybe. We'll take a look. What a journey. So as you can see, this place is not on the network currently. We're going to fix that. You're going to see me do my super magic USB stuff. A lot of upward floating rocks in this game. Yeah. A lot of Super Saiyan-esque powering up looking rocks. Make the delivery. So you get graded on each of your delivery. I mean, there's this whole part here. You yeah. get graded on your delivery, uh, on the condition of it, the speed. I think maybe even the path you took. You forged a new path, your, your route. So, like, the um, thing I will say is that had I been doing this in the game normally, I would have been picking up all sorts of other packages along the way and making stops along the way. Right. That is how I play this right. game. It's a logistics is, yeah, you're about to, like, trying to make the most most deliveries you can in the time you have. Yeah, I had used some container spray, repair spray to get it there, but I, I, I know I did a good job. Their expectations for the normal stuff are, is usually pretty low. Yeah, it's like, hey, this isn't, like, completely broken. That's fantastic. Uh, so as you gain stars with each place, each delivery destination, you sometimes yeah. unlock new things. Sometimes they're very useful. Sometimes it's a different color you can change your sunglasses to. Yeah. And this is kind of like the grading system you're on. Here. Yeah. It's your like five point grading system. You fill out the star so for how well you did. Yeah. Some shit, yeah. man. Is that cool? <laughs> that is like the one time Norman Reedus actually talks to a hologram. He almost never says almost anything. Almost never. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, which I get. You know, voice acting is expensive, and there's a lot of deliveries. You also get uh, repeat cutscenes, which I will say is it weird. Does, but mostly with, like, the mad stuff. Yeah, which I thought was, like, a little strange. I understand that you're just looking through, like, the, the memory stuff. And mm -hmm. but there are a number of them, I will say. it's not You don't start seeing the repeats no. super quick, but they do, they do happen. But the, considering how many times you stay in a private room. Yeah. Uh, so now they are on the chiral network. Uh, and then now you have a giant lake in the middle of the U.S. Which you will uh, take to uh, Lake Knot City eventually. <laughs> I could never remember any of the names of any place. They're all called Knot something. Yeah. Like the, the knots. Because Central knot. strands, ropes. Yeah, it's yeah. all it's uh, all connected, man. Do you uh, get it? Th th we mentioned this game is not subtle. <laughs> Wait, what? Where'd you get that? <gasps> Uh-oh. That little guy. Oh, oh yeah, that, I forgot that, about that this part. That little guy. 
that little guy. So in the beginning of the game, there's a bit of story where it shows you where you get the BB. Yeah. And I can't really say, but the little guy he came with the pod, if you got to know. And who'd you get the pod from? Igor, from Corpse Disposal. Again, you have to get rid of the bodies or yes. they Brother. turn into void outs. Got some bad news about Igor, so my man. What? He just gave one of these to you. This is, this is the scene why? they showed at E3. Yeah. Uh, with a giant BT that's like devouring people. Yes. Which makes that shit look a lot cooler, maybe, in that cutscene. it scene. actually is, yeah. So he told me to take it and run. Uh, right. So what's your story? Also, I think there is a, a let's call it a, a G plot because <laughs> yeah. there are so many plots in this where uh, Sam, uh, everybody just wants to give Sam a hug, but Sam does not like being touched. Yes, he has a personal trauma that has made him uh, retreat from society and people, which is where you find him at the very beginning of the game is yes. just kind of wandering the world on his own, completely detached from anything. And again, not subtle. And not to take this game and not to say it one more time. This is not subtle. He has a physical reaction to people touching him. Yes, like literally, there are. You saw those at the very beginning. Handprints. The handprints on him. That is. That is what that is. But then everybody in this game just wants to hug him. Yeah, everyone is very touchy feely. Yes, give me all that stuff. I probably will need those at some point. Would be my guess. All right, so you've got it online. Yes. This is Amelie. You've done it. Yes, this is the... You are going to meet up with her, hopefully, on the West Coast. You are making your way across America. Yes, you are literally it. walking across America. <laughs> it is a very small America, apparently, because one guy can walk across it, but... So she had gone from east to west originally. Something happened. Now you're yes. going to she run... She's part of a government pro like program to try and reconnect America. She's the one who built a lot of these chiral network stations along the way. Yeah, uh, that you're not Her bringing team, online. Yeah. yeah, the Bridges team. Right, they deposited people at each station. Any city that joins the UCA becomes a bigger target for the terrorists. There the are terrorists <laughs> are... This is maybe the least established part of the game. So the terrorists are the ones that are, like, trying to fuck up the network. They're trying to fuck up your they, whole thing. They don't think America should exist as a cohesive yeah. uh, uh, thing. And the lead terrorist guy just does not have much character development at all. He's just sort of there. Uh, you, we may meet him in a second here. We'll There's see. There's so much stuff I want to say yeah. that we can't say. There's so much I want to say. You'll find it for yourself if you play yourself. <laughs> Yes, I'm, that's what I'm fixing to do. I'm so excited for this day that this game is out in the public. And people can just experience people it for themselves. People can just experience it, and it, it'll, the floodgates will open. I'm going to skip past a little bit okay. of this. This is I want to kind of get to the next bit. Uh, and to the game's benefit, or maybe detriment, I think they would say to its benefit, it is front-loaded with a lot of cutscenes and exposition. Then there's a the, long stretch where it doesn't say much to you at all. Yeah, you don't get those like Kojima 20 minute cutscenes for a long time. Yeah. Oh, but they are say, they are waiting for you at the end. Oh yes, oh. they are. There are so many. In fact, I'm oh. going to say the entire ending of this game is uh, a lot of talking to you. Yes. Uh, uh, and I'm not going to say what they say, but, but it is a lot of but talking to you. If you are looking you. to finish this game, uh, let's say uh, at nighttime, uh, yes. carve, carve out some time. You're dirty. I should I take a quick shower before I go? Yeah, out? Why don't you take a shower? I know uh, every inch of Norman Reedus' uh, you, fa fake body. You know everything except for his Norman weenus. <laughs> yes. They don't show that part as much. You will never see his weenus. <laughs> no. Hideo Kojima's promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to this little harbor in a second. But yes, you, those are the three things you can do. Shower, piss, Poop. shit. And all of those things eventually turn into grenades because why not? Which why I, shouldn't your body fluids be fucking grenades? Which I never use because I just use yeah. the blood grenades. The blood grenades are so much more powerful and useful. I mean, granted, they drain a resource from your body that you need to live. Uh, but I, I, the number of times I actually ran out of blood, I can count on one finger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, think I ever, I died once. Well, because you have blood bags. Yeah, you have blood bags. You, they're very easy to manufacture. Uh, you, you get can them carry for free a bunch of them. In the, when you stay in yeah, the, uh, you can carry a bunch of them. Yeah. It's not really an issue. Uh, and there are some customization options you get. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but yeah. you, you can change some stuff up. Not uh, going to do that right now, though. You should. Uh, when you get out of here, you should just put your hat and glasses on, just to look cool. Okay. 
And the hat and glasses, I'm pretty sure stay on for the. I did it in the beginning of the game, and I yeah. forgot and didn't do it ever, ever again because he takes them off when he sleeps. But we're just gonna show one last little section okay. of the game here, and then I think we're gonna call it. Hi, Mads. There you go. That's the little guy that other guy was talking about. Mankind can go anywhere, even outer space. Mads, I will say again, is probably my favorite performance in this game because he is the one that seems like he is most on board with just the weirdness of it all. Yeah. Like he's just going for it. Yeah. And, you know, I, they do make good on that stuff. Yes. Uh, so His storyline, I think, pays off reasonably yeah. well. More, Far better than just about any of the other <laughs> any ones. Any other ones, yeah. All right, so let's just uh, head on out here. I mean, I'm sure nothing uh, strange. No, or you're gonna be fine. We're just gonna peculiar will happen. We'll crawl over some rocks. Yeah. Sorry, we'll sorry, Luden's fan. You uh, might not get your. Yeah, that was uh, that was Jeff Keeley for everyone at home. Luden's fan. He's just one of the first preppers you meet. Upside down rainbow means the, the means the BTs are out, coming, which again is another reference. Here's all these dead animals, which they don't really explain why the, there's dead animals the, everywhere where the Death Stranding happens. Specifically sea, sea yeah, creatures? Yeah, it's a beach thing. I get it. But, like, it just, it feels like it's more just, like, here's the metaphor. We, yeah. we're, this is the part we're not going to explain. Shake oh, you hate off. to see shake, this. Shake them off. Shake them off, Alex. I, I'm in a cutscene, Vinny. Shake them off, Alex. I'm in a cutscene, Vinny. Well, <laughs> now that we just saw this mm -hmm. happen before... Maybe a little less uh, scary. A little less impactful. Oh? oh? Well, usually this doesn't happen. <laughs> Who could this be? Certainly not one of the main villains. This character's really disappointing, I have to say, just uh, out of the gate so here. You, the I don't think I noticed his, like, Serpentor cape, though. Yeah. That's, That's fragile. Yeah. She's, uh, she runs another delivery service. Uh, hey. she's kind of a, you know, not really sure where she stands on a lot of things, but she helps you out throughout the game. She has a history with Higgs. Yeah. What's that? Bridget Strand is dead. America's last president dead and burned. The character is disappointing. I will say Troy Baker is trying his best here. He's, oh, he's trying to chewing it. He's licking it. <laughs> yeah, he licks a lot. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, well, there's just well, not much to this character or like, his oh, his oh, motivations or anything, and it just kind of bummed me out. Like as as it went on. It, this character, also this character, I found not a satisfying through line. No, not at all. <laughs> You see, I've come to understand the truth of the death strand. Well, guess what? You're the only one. <laughs> no, it's all in the data and the so emails. much you people don't know. The girl, for instance. She's not like you or me. Dooms ain't her thing. And she's more into destruction on a worldwide scale. An extinction entity. <laughs> I also feel like Troy Baker probably the one who's most used to having to recite uh, so bullshit yeah, video game stuff. Yeah, definitely. When you can't shake hands. Fortunately, I've got a good connection to the other side. Now you, you're no bridge. <laughs> this is literally my name, dude. Uh, well, I'm bound to all of it. This world, that world. This is, by the way, the first time you run into anything that, it, like, it counts as a real boss encounter. Literally the first boss fight. And it is many hours into the game. I, again, for better or worse. Yeah. Not because I think the boss fights are great and I wish there were more of them. It's just it, the way it paces out stuff is just really weird. Yeah. And if you had fought that thing before, yeah, it would be just very similar to this. Yeah, these fights are never that exciting or interesting. Oh, did you pick up more grenades? Uh, I got a couple out of the... They handed me a couple. Okay. 
but there's also with this fight they just drop grenades on the ground oh did i mention that he also references video games a lot yeah this whole time a game over i'm not i like constantly game never over maybe that's why i don't like him very much he's a gamer <laughs> All right, well, time to fight this octopus. <laughs> Let me tell you how to fight this octopus. Heads up, Sam. According to our damage assessment... Yeah, see, there's more, like, around. Only take yeah. a single void out, the total well, then I shouldn't let that happen, should I? BT allowed to make contact with the Come on over here. Come on over here. Enough. We can't let that happen. You've got to deal with that ET right I'm gonna. Now. I'm doing it right now. Uh, the one you would have fought before, I think, has less health. Yes, this one has more health, for sure. All right, where is the thing? Also, that tooltip about uh, holding L2 and R2 the further you throw it, I kind of always found there to almost be like a fixed distance, and you use yeah. like up and down. But maybe I missed something. That one's done. Um, you'll occasionally get like little helpers that'll throw you stuff, which is fun. Yeah. I think there are other players that maybe you have good relationships with in the game, like, uh, uh, likes, a lot of likes. And I love, I love likes. There's a lot more systems here. I don't know if we'll be able to show everything. No, uh, I mean, that's the thing. There's so many things that just start showing up late in the game that you just don't know anything about until they just happen. There's some stuff like if you see uh, somebody from your friends list or somebody you knows that you know their gamer tag on an item, you can try and make a thing called a bridge link with them, which supposedly makes their stuff show up more in your game. Right. There's a blood bag, which you can probably use. Should have at least. Yeah, I, think, I think I got a couple more. Hey, he's almost done. Uh, one more round should do it. Now, I think the first time I did this oh, fight, boy. I was carrying like a shit ton of cargo. Oh, really? Because you don't know. Yeah. yeah two more hits. That might be yeah, it. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I. You get different stuff to deal with the enemies. I would say it doesn't really change that much. No, even with new weaponry, like uh, it's very much the same rhythm to these fights over and over again, and it's kind of a bummer. And like you, they get bigger, you know, they have different forms. It but, escalates, but yeah, the the kind of mechanics of it don't change all that much. No. So yeah, I think that's probably where we're going to call this here at the end of this fight. Uh, you're about to have a long cutscene, a yeah. very long extended cutscene, and you're also about to enter a new area, which looks very similar to this. Uh, the game, I I enjoyed it. I think I was disappointed in the, by the end of it. Yeah, like it, the, the enjoyment I got out of the game was hit or miss. It was like there were moments that I thought were very cool. There were things that it does that I think are cool, but it's never consistent enough. And if you're coming to this for like a good, you know, wacky, you know, all over the place Hideo Kojima story, it has some of that, but none of it is anywhere near, I think, as captivating as his best work. I think it is, it's too obvious for its own good. Yeah. And it's weird, certainly, but I, I think the, the, the momentum of that weirdness is not enough to carry it through the entire game. Yeah, given us yeah. Home, I Sam. when I finished it, I haven't played it Perhaps since I finished it. No, and this is the first time I picked it up since I finished it, and well, it reminded me Emily's of the things that I liked, but it's also reminded me of a lot of things I really didn't like. Yeah. It's a mixed, Get it's a mixed bag. I hate okay, to say that, okay. but it's it's a mixed We're package, uh, and it's going to take you forever to deliver it. So I applaud. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I applaud some of the novel things it does in this game, and I hope other developers look at that and the things that worked in this game. Uh, but yeah, I um, Norman, I think it's time for you it, to. It's uh, a hard recommend, and I hope people who are on the fence about it uh, have watched to see what some of it is before they spend sixty dollars and are surprised that was in. Yeah, there. yeah. Well, that is that. Norman, why don't you uh, why don't you take a little nap, and we're gonna say goodbye. This is Death <laughs> Stranding. It is out now. 
Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Vinny. Thanks, Alex.